So how do you see the present state of the woodworking industry in Southeast Asia? Uh, Southeast Asia for us is a market with a big potential and it's a market with a very, very fast growing market. And uh, it's our second time in India. First time was in Bengaluru one year ago and uh, we decided to participate also in uh, Delhi because as I said we have we see here a huge potential. Um, you know we reckon that the woodworking industry in Southeast Asia is a very prospective market and is a very prospective sphere. Uh, so uh, the capacity is uh, increasing and the um, production volume is pretty high and the only uh, hopes that we have that the import of uh, wood products, uh, especially from Russia, uh, will increase too. Asia is still uh, in a growing mode. The good thing is in Asia what we see and what we feel, especially also here in India, that we have constant growth in the business and uh, people are, are looking forward to automize the processes a lot. Um, but if you look in detail for the market, we have still a big portion of I would say unorganized companies where we see our potential and our perspective in supporting them with technology. Uh, what we saw in the last couple years, uh, it's the first daily world since more than three years, that the, before Corona we had a very good growing market and it was the breakdown same as nearly everywhere in the world. Um, since last year we really see that the market is really growing and we try always to help our customers to increase everything in their productivity and bring down the errors. Uh, I can say for the last years it was very good for us and uh, I hope still in future it will be continuously like that. Uh, I hope so that uh, the market will be growing in the same way as in the last years. The Daily Woods, I mean, we are here with an information stand on the German pavilion to represent our, our product range. We are a German manufacturer and of course we hope that our uh, industrial machines will be welcome here in the woodworking industry in India. Well, Southeast Asia, uh, that's a bit complicated because we have so much differences in the market. Uh, we have India where the market is really nice at the moment, I will say it's a peak market. We have still Thailand, where the market is growing and uh, many customers are investing. And we have other areas like Indonesia, Malaysia, where is the market currently not so good. Um, I forgot to say that Vietnam itself is also a very nice market for Graycon at the moment. Yeah, now I think in the last few years, uh, during the post-COVID area, the industry has grown multifold uh, in the wood-based sector including the wood-based panel as well as the furniture industry. Uh, there are a lot of new possibilities which are coming up for all the customers in the South Asian countries. We are showcasing only the premium and uh, luxury products in line with our vision, in line with our strategy. So we have uh, Phoenix, we have Arpa products, we have Homopal products, and we have Formica Cora. Oh. So these are our international bestsellers. Mm -hmm. They are innovative, they are trendsetters globally, inspirational, uh, and, and uh, not only in this exhibition, uh, they, they are our strategic products, premium products for the market here in India. Oh, uh, now we are facing a very a strange situation in the Southeast Pacific area and in South Asia. Uh, there's a lot of movement between the business, between Asia and the US and Europe and Asia. And so we are uh, looking for now the good channel to penetrate uh, this hard market. Uh, but situation in every month is different, so uh, it's not really easy to learn and understand exactly how the situation is going on. So, uh, so I would say that uh, the, the situation got much, much better after the, the COVID uh, you know, crisis that we had. And uh, uh, there are some markets that has gained uh, its momentum uh, after, after this. Um, so we're still very positive uh, on the trend, on the growth. Uh, we are, we're seeing uh, on the consumable side that, that the growth is still there. 
we are positive for the future. Although we know that also 2023 might be a challenging year overall. I think it is, uh, you know, growing at a very rapid pace, especially after COVID. And uh, we are very, we are, you know, moving very closer to the European finishes and the perfection. So that's why you, you see a lot of latest trend which used to be in uh, European countries have come to South Asian markets. And now this is going to be the hub and the growth engine for uh, you know, the, the world. So I see a tremendous future and, uh, you know, growth prospect for South Asian working market. Uh, uh, Delhi World Year, we are trying to showcase our new machine over ASFT, which is a new product that we have developed in India. And this product we are exporting worldwide. So the acceptance of this product has been hugely successful in USA, Australia and European market. And it's also showing promising future for India because there is a shift from more of uh, manual machines to go in for automatic and higher end CNC machines. So more and more customers are shifting towards this. So here we are uh, showing a new brand in the market for CNC as well as the new software is available. In this moment, uh, once again, it's very important to be present uh, on the territory. Um, but there are several branches uh, around uh, Asia. In, uh, we have here in India, we have Indonesia, in Vietnam. It's very important to feel the contact with the country. 